So, finally, put the concrete. It's gonna be here um, on Wednesday, a couple of days. So I've had a bit of solar tech, so I'll chuck that in the floor because I think that'll help with um, retaining a bit of heat in there. But, um, you know, I don't expect too much. It's just something, <laughs> but anyway. But um, what I'll do is I'll update once it's been poured because I'm not going to try and film it while we're doing it because it's um, I'll be on my own basically. So, but uh, next time you see this, it will be done. And a bit of magic, we'll go bam. There you go. Obviously, this isn't just a magic trick. <laughs> this is um, I did the block work yesterday actually, and um, timber today. It actually went really well. Look, it went together like clockwork. And this is where we're at. So, this is the room I've got in here. Massive room. More than enough for the, um, for the filtration and a little, sort of on this side, probably have like a grow on quarantine hospital tank. I'll build that in and fiberglass it in. Uh, to, to suit sort of thing um, so that's that's that um, and this has now been flow coated some uh, choppings from the bush you can still see where the old returns were and that but once you get a bit of the old the fuzz on the the, the um, algae and that you never see none of that anyway it's all good unless there were new returns so yeah, so basically at the minute I'm, um, I've, um, I've taken the drum off, which is there, and I've got a easy pod on that for the minute, just so I can get this plumbed in, um, and then I can actually fill. I'm only a, probably a week or two away from filling this up now. I just got to um, get it all set. I'll get this finished. It's still not finished. Probably got. To, I've got to do the roof and the fascias and stuff like that. And I do want to put a pergola over this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this, bef do the pergola or before or after um, I filled it. But we'll see how we get on anyway. But um, yeah, really impressed and happy with how this is looking. And um, yeah, it went really well actually. Did it all on my own. Got to have the tools for the job, don't you? Nail guns. They're the best thing ever. It's all, uh, just, I ran out of one piece, one piece of six by two. I went out of Wix and it was uh, some stupid amount of money, so I didn't buy it. I thought I'd wait till I got my tip, local timber merchants and get it for a better price, but yeah. I'll insulate all this. <clears throat> I'm gonna, um, I think I'm going to run. So I've got I've got quite a lot of adjustment on the filter uh, in here at the minute, the height of the slab. So I think I might run a membrane and then screwed it, and then like a garage floor paint or something like that, so it's nice and clean. But there's to be loads of storage in here as well. I haven't actually measured it as such yet. But that'd be the view from in the pond when the weather's crap or whatever, I can still come in here and sort of look at the fish. Ish, anyway. It's uh, a little bit lower, but yeah. So yeah, anyways, a little update for you guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe, and uh, see you soon. Cheers, bye.